They're on the run to two out and Strong Roots about to be tackled on the outside by both the Abbey and Search for a Myth and then about six lengths back to Sulafat as they come to two from the finish. Strong Roots from the Abbey and on the outside Search for a Myth. They're on the run down to the final flight. Strong Roots with on the outside Search for a Myth. The Abbey in between them as they come down to the last. Search for a Myth and the Abbey over the last. Search for a Myth just the leader from the Abbey as they race close home. The Abbey on the inside of Search for a Myth. It's going to be close but the Abbey is just going to get there from Search for a Myth. Strong Roots in third, clear of Bondebu. Yes, congratulations to all the team involved with the Abbey, the When in Rome partnership. There is our commentator and very delighted part owner, Gary O'Brien, welcoming in the Abbey straight from the commentary box uh, to see Jack Kennedy come back home. He gets a double on the card this evening at Clonmel, as does Gordon Elliott and this horse, the Abbey, who gets a hurdle win to his name. And defies top weight as well. Returns at ten to one. Delighted to be joined by a uh, delighted winning owner here, Gary O'Brien. Gary, it makes a difference me interviewing you. Well done. To thanks, a, thanks a million, Kev. Yeah, it's great to get a win over Jumps for this horse. He's won a couple on the flat before, and if he was ever going to win somewhere very appropriate, it's Clonmel because every time I come racing here, there's a picture of him on the front of the race car. <laughs> so, yeah, it's nice to get his head in front. I pity none of the other guys could be here, so I was left to pick up the prize but great to see him win I thought he was in big trouble when the favourite came up on the outside turn in but excellent ride as ever from Jack and uh, yeah thrilled yeah, Jack was just saying to me coming back in he says the first time he's actually kept finding for pressure because he thought when Robert Tyner's as giant and went by him that he was going to fall but he said he kept that really well yes maybe, maybe as he's getting a little bit older I don't know maybe he just wants a little bit more of a trip he had a run in the flat there recently just to blow away the cobwebs and he just always seemed to be behind the bridle that day whereas today he seemed to travel pretty well just where he was comfortable I think that was the key they seemed to go pretty fast and um, I say just arrived up at the right time I, I didn't think he was going to beat the Tyner horse coming here today to be honest there was a few others fancied in it as well but yeah, it just goes to show if you're not in you can't win it's great great that he has one nice surprise I know you said to me you were kind of cursing your luck you were hoping you are going to be in the opposite division to the Tyner Hall. I thought we were in the tougher division of the two yeah and it, uh, Search for a Myth obviously looked the one to be based on the run here last time um, so look if, if he'd run well and he'd been placed and we could have kicked on again it would have been great but we, we just figured he was had a lower hurdle mark he'd been rattling the crossbar a bit over fences in the past so we figured we'd look we'd have a crack at a hurdle race and Hit the jackpot in the end, which is great. Job done. Mm. Well, we'll see him next. He's going to mix it. He's been a great fun horse for you. He's won twice in the flat. He won a Killarney last year. And and uh, he's been placed numerous occasions over jumps, over fences. That's well. it. A brilliant fun horse. A couple of times in the flat. And it was great that he won those two days. And then been placed a heap of times as well. I'd imagine, as you say, he'll probably mix it away. Fences and hurdles now. See where we can maybe pick up a, another race or two, if possible. But look, he's won three races. That's more than plenty of horses do so um, I'm sure the other guys will be watching in Peter and Willie Reynolds and Noel Maguire will be watching in back up above and they'll be they'll be chuffed with that as well the ultimate professional Henry de Bromhead is standing with me you never flinch you never got animated at all you're commentating we were very impressed well look Peter O'Sullivan was one of my heroes growing up Kevin he showed us how to do that so uh, I would have been disappointed if I hadn't been able to do it. I didn't think I'd have to, to be honest. I say I, I thought he might might be placed and that'd be good enough. But I've actually commentated on a couple of his races before. Commentated on him over fences one day down here, and he looked like he might win going to two out. Absolutely flattered it, and that was game over. And I was kind of half relieved. <laughs> I didn't have to call him in the finish, but yeah, he was involved today. Look, it could have gone either way, but great that it went our way. Great stuff. Well on, Gar. Thanks. Thanks, Kev. Cheers.